Have you ever thought about the famous actor from the classic Hollywood TV series in 1966, That Girl? Well, get excited. This show is a trip down memory lane that's full of surprises and entertainment. The series follows a young woman navigating life and love in the city. It stars a beloved Hollywood actor whose charm won over many hearts. As you watch the video, prepare to learn some surprising and fun facts. But first, we'd like to know who was your favorite actor in that girl. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you have a special memory connected to this show? Whether it's a funny moment, a shocking twist, or a scene that touched you, we'd love to hear about it. Share your stories in the comments. Join us as we explore the highlights of the show and uncover hidden gems. Your personal experiences are invaluable, so let's reminisce together. Remember to share your most cherished memories or experiences related to that girl. Let's celebrate the magic of this timeless series together. Stay tuned for more surprises and revelations in the upcoming video. In the lively world of 1960s TV, a show stood out for capturing the spirit of the era. That girl, starting in 1966, was different from other sitcoms. It focused on a young actress named Anne Marie, played by Marlo Thomas. Anne Marie wasn't like other leading ladies of her time. She wasn't a homemaker or a secretary. She was a modern woman chasing her dreams in New York City. The show followed her journey through auditions, relationships, and the challenges of a showbiz career. What made that girl special was how it portrayed a single, independent woman living life her own way. In a time of strict gender roles, Anne-Marie broke stereotypes and paved the way for future portrayals of women on TV. The show resonated with viewers because it tackled issues like equality, career goals, and personal happiness, which were ahead of its time. That girl became a cultural icon, inspiring many young women and leaving a lasting mark on TV. Its influence can still be seen today, showing how a TV show can both entertain and empower. In the early days of the TV series, Ted Bessel, known for his role in That Girl, forged a lasting friendship with his co-star Marlo Thomas. The two remained in touch even after the show concluded. However, tragedy struck in October of 1996 when Ted confided in Marlo about experiencing chest pains. Urging him to seek medical help, Marlo's advice came too late. Ted passed away in an emergency room just days later. The belated diagnosis of his aneurysm left little chance for treatment, as those with a burst aneurysm face only a 20% survival rate. In the original unaired pilot episode, Ted Bessel's character deviated from the familiar Donald Hollinger. Instead, he portrayed Anne's agent named Donald Blue Sky. In this version, he clarified that his surname had roots in his Cherokee Indian heritage, Meanwhile, Harold Good took on the role of Anne's father, with Penny Santon portraying her mother. According to Marlo Thomas, the on-screen dynamic between Anne and her father Lou mirrored her real-life relationship with her father Danny. This personal connection added a layer of authenticity to the portrayal, highlighting the show's commitment to relatable storytelling. These glimpses into the behind-the-scenes details of that girl offer insights into the friendships formed, the evolution of character roles, and the incorporation of personal experiences into the narrative. The series, while rooted in fiction, drew inspiration from the real lives of its cast members. In Season 1, Episode 11 of That Girl, titled What's in a Name, Anne considers adopting the stage name Marie Brewster, combining her last name and her hometown. Interestingly, Anne's father applies the same principle to Don Hollinger, referring to him as Hollinger Toledo. This suggests a connection to Toledo, Ohio. However, as the series progresses, it becomes clear that Don and his family hail from St. Louis, Missouri, not Toledo. Despite the show's continued popularity and existing contracts, a sixth season of That Girl was abruptly halted at the end of season five. Disagreements in production marked the end, a common occurrence for shows of that era with high ratings. Anne's residence in the series was Apartment 4D. This small detail adds a touch of specificity to the character's environment. The series, with its high ratings and contractual obligations, was poised for a return in the sixth season. However, typical of the era, behind-the-scenes conflicts intervened, resulting in the unplanned conclusion of the show at the end of season five. Marlo Thomas, famous for playing Anne Marie in a popular TV show, had her family members join in some episodes. Her dad, Danny Thomas, appeared occasionally, which made the show feel more personal. In one episode, her sister Ter Thomas and brother Tony Thomas also showed up. The show was mainly about Marlo Thomas' character, Anne Marie. 
Anne-Marie's dad, Lou, owned a restaurant called La Parisienne, which gave the story a bit of French flavor. Having Marlowe Thomas family members in the show and setting Lou's restaurant as La Parisienne made the story richer. It made the show more enjoyable for viewers and left a lasting impression on them. That Girl aired from 1966 to 1971. In Season 1, Episode 21, Arlene Golonka played Jerry Bauman's wife, Margie. However, in Season 2, Episode 8, Carol Ann Daniels replaced her as Ruth. Golonka later returned in Season 2, Episode 30, as Benita Lazo. The show's title is similar to Batgirl, leading to some confusion with Yvonne Craig, who played Batgirl on Batman. Craig once misheard that girl is Batgirl when waiting for her series call. Just seven months after the final episode, Lou Parker passed away from cancer two days before his 62nd birthday. That girl and the Dick Van Dyke show were closely connected. Marlo Thomas's father, Danny Thomas, produced the Dick Van Dyke show while Bill Persky and Sam Dinoff, creators of That Girl, were head writers. Both series were filmed at Dezilu Studios and they shared props occasionally. Some episodes of That Girl adapted storylines from The Dick Van Dyke Show. In an episode called My Sister's Keeper, That Girl featured appearances by Marlo Thomas's sister, brother, and father. The character Anne Marie's last appearance was in an animated Saturday morning special titled That Girl in Wonderland, airing two years after the live action series ended on ABC. It was That Girl, a TV series from 1966, revolves around the character Anne. In one episode, her address is mentioned as West 78th Street, but the location shots show a building on the corner of East 78th and the FDR Drive. A notable actor from the show is best known for portraying Donald Hollinger. He starred alongside Marlo Thomas, and they remained friends until his passing. The two discussed a potential feature film remake of the series, imagining the main characters meeting again years later and rekindling their romance. Another co-star, Ted Bessel, stayed close friends with Anne until he passed away. Marlo Thomas urged him to see a doctor after he complained of chest pains, a decision that likely saved his life. Overall, the series remains memorable, known for its endearing characters and relatable storylines continuing to connect with audiences today. The show is a timeless piece that captivates viewers even now. In the 1960s, a TV series called That Girl quietly made its way into popular culture. In a 1991 episode of I Married Marge, there was a mention of Ted Bessel, which seemed to reference the show as he had directed episodes of The Tracy Ullman Show, where both Marge and Homer's actors were involved. The main character, Anne Marie, came from Brewster, New York, which grounded the story in a specific place, making it more relatable. A book titled That Girl and Phil, written by Desmond Athol in 1991, explored the love story between Marlo Thomas and Phil Donahue. It provided insights into the personal lives of those involved in creating the show, revealing the connections and relationships behind the scenes. Overall, That Girl made an impact not just as a TV series, but also through subtle references in later shows and publications like the mention of Ted Bessel in I Married Marge and Anne Marie's hometown being Brewster, New York.